Good morning, Tesla. Welcome to Live Fire Show. Also, today is a winter dance. So why do you keep interrupting me like that? That's that's not Morning. <laughs> this is the Live Fire Show. I'm Maya and I'm Sean. Coffee, an energy booster or a body killer? A mandarin duck found in New York. Find out more about the flying creature who was born in East Asia and was found in Central Park. Rihanna versus the President of the United States of America. Keep your eyes peeled to find out more. We got news about Cristiano Ronaldo, NBA, and some more football and more to come on sports. All this and more right after the break. I am Tesla of California. 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 Now it's time to check out what's going on around campus. That wraps it up for the Tetzloff play-by-play. Don't blink or move a muscle before we are back.
Welcome back. Time to get into today's hot topics. Do you know what makes the sunset have beautiful colors? Because the sun is low on the horizon, sunlight passes through more air at sunrise and sunset. Then, during the day, when the sun is higher in the sky, more atmosphere means more molecules to scatter the violet and blue light away from your eyes. The other colors continue on their way to your eyes. This is why sunsets are often yellow, orange, and red. Sunsets are truly a sight to see. A male mandarin duck, also known as the Ikes galericulata, is one of the many exotic animals. This duck got the name Big Apple after being found in Central Park, New York, New York. This species is native to East Asia. Many are thinking that this duck escaped from a private owner because it looks clean and well fed. This duck is black, brown, brown cream, and buff gray white. The leg color is brown, orange, and yellow. The beak color is black, brown, and red. Its natural habitats are the woodlands and wetlands. Now you smarty pants people can find out how smart you really are with today's trivia. Hey man, what's up? It's your boy One Take Timmy. It's your boy Wachi Butterfingers. And we back with another One, one take, take Questions. Today we are gonna be going around school asking people three trick questions to see if they get it right. Let's get into it. All right, we here with Cameron Holmes. All right, first question for today. What's 13 minus 50? Negative 47. Oh, okay, okay. All right, second question. Did Frederick Douglass serve as a president in the 70s or 80s? I don't know. Yeah, all right. What's taller, 5'12 or 6 feet? Same height, aren't they? All right, all right. Next person. So what up, we're here with? Ryan. All right, so first question. Did Frederick Douglass serve as a president in the 70s or 80s? Uh, 80s? 70s, huh? Probably, I don't know. All right, so what's taller, 5'12 or 6 feet? 6 feet. All right, last question. What's 13 minus 50? Isn't it like negative 37, something like that? <laughs> All right, we here with? Jaden Asar. All right, first question. What's 13 minus 50? <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, second question. Did Frederick Douglass serve as a president in 70s or 80s? The 70s? Okay. All right, third question. What's taller, 5'12 or 6 feet? <laughs> I don't know, 6 feet? All right, so we're here with? Mayola. All right, so look. What year did Frederick Douglass serve as president? 70s or 80s? 70s. All right, what is 13 minus 50? I don't know. Hold on. Let me do my math. Minus. 13. You said 13, 15? 13 minus 50. Thir 50? 13 minus 50. Do you got paper and a pencil? Unfortunately, no. So we're just going to skip that question. All right. So what's taller, 5'12 or 6 feet? 6 feet. I'm guessing 5 feet. All right. We hear it. Easy, easy. All right. First question. What's 13 minus 50? 13 minus 50. Let me do the math. Uh, 13, 3, 2, it's like 37. Yes, 37. <laughs> Negative 37. Uh. All right. <laughs> Second question. Did Frederick Douglass serve as a president in 70s or the 80s? Neither. Okay, okay. All right. Third question. What's taller, 5'12 or 6 feet? They're the same thing. Uh. All right, what's up, man? It's your boy One Take Timmy. You know your boy YG Butterfingers. And we checking out this One Take Question video. I'll see y'all next time. Hello, people of the world. As always, he's shy and I'm shy. Well, welcome back to you. Her, her, her.
for Pretty Hit, where we start off your morning right by filling you in on stuff that's happening around in your world. That's why it's called You Heard It Here. We have we have all heard about Rihanna's streak for calling out big people in big playful places, but this time, did, did, did she take it just a little bit too far? President Donald Trump played one of Rihanna's songs in one of his po po political rallies. Rihanna, as you guessed, was not happy. She sent a accusation letter to Cal saying that she wanted her song removed from all records of the event. What do you think? Is Rihanna overreacting or should Donald Trump get better at checking those copyright privileges? DM us on Instagram and let us know. And remember, the winner of the person with the best DM is going to get fe featured on one of our stories. For now, let's check it out with sports. Good morning, Trojans. Welcome to the Sports Zone. I'm Shakir. I'm Kyle. And I'm Raiden. Let's get into the sports. Starting off with some, um, starting off with some basketball news. Um, Nets versus 76ers, and that's one, 127 to 124. Celtics, which boy Kyrie Irving won 130 to 125 against the Wizards. And then the rest of the games were pretty trash, so I'm not gonna go over those. But yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So for NFL, the Chargers and Chiefs are playing, and yeah. So that's all the time we have for today. Now let's move on to world news. Bye. Voyager 2, one of NASA's space probes, is now 11 billion miles away from Earth and has finally reached interstellar space. Voyager 2 is now one of NASA's longest running mission with 41 years since its launch on August 20th, 1977, a few days before the launch of Voyager 1. Both probes are landmark missions that continue the journey of exploration in unexplored territory. Both were originally designed as five-year missions to study Jupiter and Saturn up close, and when those trips were successful, they were added for Uranus and Neptune. Due to remote control programming, it allowed the spacecrafts to keep on flying well past their targets and keep on exploring. Both probes still carry golden records containing pictures, messages, and sounds from Earth because the spacecraft was built so that it could very well outlast humanity for billions of years. There's gonna be aliens if this keeps happening. Like, oh my God, we're gonna find aliens. Always bring up aliens. Like it's gonna catch space. It's gonna catch. It's gonna catch the sound or motion of like some creature out there. Everything Especially happening like, right now in space makes us think about aliens. And like, I know. And I can't it's believe, true. honestly, aliens are annoying me very bad because like we've been waiting for like a thousand years to see you but 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 you're still in your like little spacecraft with the little <laughs> evening doggy probably like, they just, just want to earth like, they just want to leave us alone they want us to be and, in peace um, what's surprising is that the probe could go so far in space it could go past jupiter exactly. into uranus and neptune that's pretty probably cool. even to pluto or farther pluto yeah so, yeah Pluto's a dwarf planet planet so, x yeah that's what i think yeah now it's time to check out today's fyi who was the first to invent electric Christmas lights? Samuel Morse, Elias Howe, Nicola Telsa, or Thomas Edison? Take five. It's Samuel. Oh. Thomas Edison was the first to invent electric Christmas lights. I hope. Now it's time for Did You Know What Tommy? Trojans. And today I got in again. Raj. Yes. So Raj, how's your morning today? Pretty good. What's your talent? Uh, I can public speak. Like, I'm an MUN, basically. Alright, uh, uh, how long have you been doing that? Like, this whole year. So 
this whole year. Yeah. Um, when did you, um, when did you start saying this stuff or whatever? Yeah, like uh, basically, uh, it's an elective, and um, we say speeches and like practice our public and uh, it motivates us to do more. Anything else you do? Uh, that's it. That's it. Yes. Um. Well. Well, that's all we have for today, and now, and, and we'll see everyone back here tomorrow morning.